people are pissed of listening to us like every single day. So <laughs> everybody gets tired of us. <laughs> and hey, they're like, listen, oh my god, I mean, same just people. Just a little while ago, people were asking. We, 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 are, we have, we have, we have a memological expedition. So that's something new uh, today. Our CTO. So do you want to say hi? All people are joining. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, great. All right, well, welcome everybody. And uh, for those of you who it's morning, good morning. Uh, just give me one second. I'm going to also tweet about this. Clearly, I'm addicted to Twitter. Guys, who are like still uh, alive after the crash, uh, and who are still in uh, good mood to move forward? Good mood in this market? I don't think anybody can afford to have a good mood. <laughs> We're I mean, I, re of... I remember my first crash, uh, and uh, I can imagine what you guys, what everybody actually feels, especially like if this crash is first for you. But I mean, it's it's just a normal process in crypto. I don't know, uh, just, just like while you're tweeting, I can just drop a couple words here. I mean, it's like normal process, like bull market, beer market, and uh, uh, yeah, just keep building. And that's the only thing how you like, can survive. And uh, my advice, I don't know, for those who like uh, going through this first time, uh, it's just like time like to keep, like during the whole beer market, you just keep accumulating like what you can accumulate in terms of like tokens, assets, like NFTs. And uh, like during the next bull run, like it will be beneficial for everyone. At least that's my like personal strategy. And that's what I'm doing. So this time... I'm kind of not worried. And uh, on another side, like like when you like accumulating uh, all these things like during the beer market, uh, then uh, also advice uh, when you will uh, see like uh, I don't know every like new time high or every new jump, you should like rebalance your portfolio like all the time. Uh, then it will make you like feel much much better in this like crazy situation. Uh, so yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely remember to take profits, guys. Um, I mean, weird timing to say something like that right now, but in the future, obviously. Um, yeah, so I figure let's kick it off with the obvious. Um, let's talk about delaying the whitelist mint, which to, it's only a short delay. I think really the main sort of driver here is the fact that the Luna Tumble and everybody just kind of seeing a giant fall. It's something I've, I've noticed in the past few days is this feels almost like a tragedy, you know, um, being in crypto right now. I mean, we, a lot of us have seen previous bear markets and I don't think that anything is a doomsday scenario right now, um, especially not for crypto as a whole, but it is really odd to see sort of an industry leader and somebody, especially like Do Kwan, that everybody kind of looks up to, even if he is kind of mean, like it, seeing that take a tumble over a couple hundred thousand, uh, uh, which led to a, essentially like a billion in Bitcoin trades um, is kind of surreal, right? It's, it's kind of like almost like a stage of grief. Um, and so I think we just wanted to give a little bit more space, whatever we can um to people to sort of reorient and not rush into the polygon mint because i know here's here's the other thing it's like basically if you guys are here and you believe in this project and you're you want to do everything you can to support it moving forward like chances are you're, you're going to want to mint on polygon right and and what we don't want people doing is um making that decision sort of in inflamed times right if we can give everybody more time to think about you know, what's the right move for them, how you guys want to orient yourselves in this market going forward. Um, I think it's better to do that. So um, it's not a whole lot of a delay, but uh, any extra time we can give people to sort of get a little bit of like, get their feet on solid ground and kind of know where they stand 
um, I think it's helpful. But um, we're here. If you guys have questions, concerns, comments, um, we're going to be up on this stage. But uh, I'll also hand it off to Eugene to, in case you want to say anything about this. Um, but just a reminder before we do, if you have questions, comments, concerns, um, hit that little hand raise button down at the bottom. It's it's like a little waving hand with a piece of paper or comment box or something next to it. Um, that allows you to get onto like a speaker waiting list, and then I can let you up on stage from there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so Eugene, anything you want to add? Yeah, I mean, just uh, I mean, you, you, I guess you clearly explained uh, the reason for the uh, like postponing the launch uh, of the mint. Uh, but uh, I can add on more on the product side, just for everyone who had questions about how it's going to be going live, you know, where, where the app is going to be located. So at the moment, there's no, and, and people are asking me too, at the moment, there's no public URL for the, uh, for the Polygon app, right? Uh, we will make it on the subdomain uh, first. We're not going to make a multi, a multi, like, a multi chain app first. We're going to make it later, but we'll start from the subdomain. So once it's going to be available, we will, we will publish the link. It will be also be added to the website, so you'll be able to access it easily. And hopefully also from the Harmony app as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, essentially, uh, so I'm here. If you have any questions about the mint functionality, you know, like batch minting, minting like whitelisting, anything else, I'm just happy to answer any questions or anything related to product. Feel free to guys raise your hand or ask a question in the chat. I'm letting uh, Try up on stage. Hey, Try. Hey. Yo. Can you hear me? Yep. Loud and clear. How's it going? Well, um, just curious why, and I probably missed it because I just joined. Um, just curious as to why it was decided to delay the mint outside of just the sheer, what was the reasoning behind the change? Basically just the sort of state of the market. We We kind of reconvened and decided that like, it might be best to give people a little bit more time to, to grieve in a sense, like, you know, quote unquote, but um, ultimately we just thought, you know, better to give everybody the time we can. Um, but then at the same time, we do have to maintain like certain launch deadlines. And so that's why it's only really till Saturday. Um, so it was mainly just sort of like, we thought we had a feeling that this might help people and, and wanted to take that step if it was going to help at all. Yeah, the reason kind of like just calm down. I mean, uh, no need to make decision like on. I don't know when the, everything is crashing. Everybody like super emotional, uh, and uh, I mean, I know everybody is emotional about this. So uh, just to cool down and just do it again. And uh, right, like uh, Joe just mentioned, I mean, we're not uh, delaying the mynet launch, uh, so it's still on the plan. And next week is going to be like really, really hot in terms of like announcement. Uh, we're launching like two like really interesting campaigns about this uh, uh, Polygon launch, uh, which will affect uh, like uh, different Polygons community and guilds uh, and even some launch packs. So like the marketing strategy and plan still uh, like on the table. It's non changeable. And again, right, just the, the reason is just to calm down uh, the, how it calls, like, I don't know how it calls in English, like the, the hotness of the momentum and uh, just do it right. The hotness, yeah, everybody's getting hot in here. So um, that's a good way to put it. The, the, he actually referenced a campaign coming next week. So I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of alpha here. Um, we have, as part of the Polygon launch, we're going to be like implementing a sort of beta tester phase um, for uh, both new and existing users. So, like everybody's welcome to join, um, and and there will be certain like perks centered around that. Um, but essentially, it's going to be a way for uh, any new features and any new um, sort of mainnet to be tested by anybody that wants to participate and given like testnet. Um, avatars and things like that so we we kind of have a lot of like gaming guilds that are helping uh join that movement in the next uh week which is why we can't push the mint that much further so like we we wanted to give a little more time but like there is a, a kind of cap on it for that reason um in addition to the fact that there's a certain amount that has to be done before the actual public launch 
which is a date that you know Polygon has uh, asked us to hold to. So um, this was more a matter of like just making it, I think, a, a little bit easier on everybody here. Um, and then at the end of the day, I think like it's also two less days to uh, hold on to the NFTs because you know they won't be listed on OpenSea until. Um, until just after the public launch and then on top of that they don't start minting until just after the public launch as far as colony is concerned so um effects wise it just pretty much like lessens that as well um but nothing else other than that so yeah any other like questions try do you have no that was it um i was just curious as to what the logic and reasoning was um just from my standpoint i really don't see a significant change whether the release was today or release was two days from now outside of it's a weekday versus a weekend. So. Right. Yeah. It's not really that consequential. You know, I think it was just more of a decision like, Hey, this might be nice. Um, you know, and, and so it's kind of just is what it is at this point. Um, I will say, sorry, I'm, I'm like, running on three hours of sleep i apologize um but my brain's a little foggy um the there was something i was going to announce just now uh features 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 oh it'll come back to me but in the meantime l duke is in the waiting list so i'm going to add him up as well um you can go ahead and comment question anything like that and then i'll try my best to remember what, what i just forgot hey guys good morning um uh just uh to add a little bit before I go, because I'm at work right now, hiding on the bathroom. <laughs> hey, um, on the other side of the coin, I hear uh, uh, you, uh, whoever just came out last and say, you know, you don't see much different. But yeah, on the other side of the coin, I do appreciate this because I am not ready. And obviously that, that only falls on me. But again, there's two sides of the coin, right? So yeah, I uh, really appreciate this. So I'm not ready to... So, like I said, I'm not ready for the mint, so this will give me some time to get ready and to get things done. So I appreciate it. That's what I gotta say. Thank you. So, hey, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, um, I also love the dedication of being in, in the work bathroom. I definitely have pulled that stuff a few times. And I mean, especially for for those who like didn't swap to Matic yet. I mean, it's kind of good opportunity as well. So. Just to add context to why I asked the question is because I took the day off. God, I'd also appreciate that dedication. And, uh, and we, we, we own you a day, man. I mean, uh, uh, we should we should note it somewhere. And I mean, if that's the point, like um, we we should kind of like do for that. Maybe some special day for you or some like other insights. I, I like really appreciate that. I mean, you took a day off to join. But I mean, I also want to say that um, uh, that uh, this pre-launch, <clears throat> again, right, to make it like more official and like straightforward, this pre-launch uh, uh, available only for uh, like Mars Colony existed users, for people who has uh, NFTs, either avatars, either uh, land. Uh, and uh, it will uh, uh, be open for like a couple of days. I think like we will keep it open like for the the first week unless uh, it will be like sold out in the first day. Uh, but I think they, and again, right? If it will be sold out in the first day and you guys will uh, tell us that you need more slots, we we'll rather take some from a guild's allocation and give our like uh, like users and uh, real supporters uh, than like you know like investors like with a big pockets. Uh, so from this point, uh, you sh guys shouldn't be worried that somebody will uh, miss this opportunity. I, I mean, we will try. I mean, we will prioritize uh, our existing users, like and uh, early supporters, like uh, in the highest priority for that. Hey, just a quick suggestion for the team: uh, try PDX. Uh, I really appreciate what you just said because uh, I, I feel you, brother, because I done that before. And uh, it didn't came out my my way, I guess. Pretty much what what you're going through right now. 
and I wasn't very happy. So I feel you, brother. Um, but for for future reference for the team, maybe it will be a good suggestion, you know, just to consider instead of do this in the middle of the week, do it on the weekends because weekends is pretty much universal for everybody, right? I think there's more people off on weekends than people are off on weekdays. I don't know. It's just a, a way of thinking, just a, a, a quick idea. Maybe you guys consider for the future. I got to go, by the way. I just hear what you guys to say for a minute, and then I got to go. Thank you, guys. Keep grinding. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we should we should ask, I mean, everybody probably on the forum to choose the date next time. Uh, and, I mean, I, I also agree if we, uh, if you, we were, like, worried that uh, if you, if you want to spend, the, like, your weekend for Mars Colony, but, I mean, if you guys want, like, we're, like, really, really happy to do it, and we can even do, like, kind of, like, marathon or things like that uh, over the weekend, because uh, either, like, me or, like, uh, Yevgeny, we, like, 24-7 on this, and if you guys join us on the weekend, it's, like, Amazing for us. Thank you. And have a like great day uh, in the office. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Al. Appreciate that. Um, I hope hope the rest of your day goes well. Um, but yeah, and for anybody who maybe missed that, Yevgeny is is Eugene. Um, just a little little nickname. Well, no, no, um, everybody knows my you know my real name. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Yes. Oh. Um. Oh, Sorry, no, <laughs> it's right. It's right. It's right. I mean, you're already uh, dark. It's only father and I, I really that are on dark, which yes, <laughs> is only gonna it's only gonna last so long because I've already had people DM me with my actual name because it's it's not that hard to find. Um, I think it's kind of funny actually, but um, yeah, so that's a good point actually, Father. You, br you brought up um, that we should do. Like before setting uh, launch dates like this next time, what we'll do is we'll start a forum poll um, and just get a feel. It doesn't have to be like an official DAO vote or anything, but just get, like um, put word out that, hey, this is a launch we're planning to have and like let's see what times work best for people. Um, we can put a range forward based on like when we're expecting to launch. Um, so yeah. Uh, any other comments, concerns, questions? I do remember what I was going to say earlier. Um, I was going to bring up the... Okay, um, I, I, have a, I, yeah, yeah. I, I have a question to everybody actually on this call. Uh, do you guys want to jump on the call and to do like claiming in real time all together uh, on Saturday? Because, I mean, as you know, we don't do any kind of like pre minting or pre mining allocations for anyone. And me personally, I will be like claiming for like my own funds like some lands as well and i will do it like in the real time so yeah if you guys wanted to have one more like call and do it together it might be funnier if not like then no yeah we can all like hang out on saturday pre like during the mint if you guys are free um we'll do another like space like this um and allow people to to, to jump on stage and just hang out and chat um there's another request to speak, so I'm going to let Bragster up. Come on up, buddy, and let us know what you have on your mind. Hello, hello. Um, What's good? Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't really followed the project too much in the past day, so my question might be a little, might be already answered somewhere, but uh, I will still ask. <laughs> and uh, my question was uh, when approximately should be the launch for the Polygon Mint? Yeah, good question. Um, so that's going to be this coming Saturday, um, roughly probably around the same time that this one was planned. So I think we can expect um, about 10 a.m. ET uh, on Saturday for the for the Polygon uh, whitelist mint. So that's for everybody that already has, you know, Mars Colony NFTs, whether it's avatars or land. Um, and then we'll do the um, there's a guild uh, allocation for like uh, Polygon gaming guilds and DAOs that we're um, filling out. And so that's going to happen like uh, the week after. And then the public launch will happen um, at the end of the month. Um, so we'll yeah. have a we'll have a scheduled event um, as soon as this AMA is over. We'll schedule all the 
um, events like with a countdown on the Telegram announcements channel and the uh, Discord events and, and things like that. And then I'll make a tw Twitter post as well. All right, cool. Thanks. Are we also going to add countdown to Telegram to Discord. Um, yeah, so you guys will be able to see that in real time. Yep, perfect. Right. Yeah, well, thanks for the question, Bragg. You got any other questions, comments, concerns? Mm, no, I mean, concern might be maybe that we are in a big dumping phase right now and maybe the buying pressure won't be too high but I don't know if that's a problem long term yeah fair point actually that's a good thing to talk about is the um, minting of colony token uh, as opposed to the current lack of utility um, so I know we've, we've announced a couple of times in case anybody's missed it um, we do have uh, multiple small burn mechanisms incoming um, just the different things that we've talked about before, like, you know, renaming avatars or moving plot buildings or uh, purchasing XP. Um, but then there's also more consistent, bigger in-game ones coming throughout this month and, and shortly after as well. So um, throughout this whole process, we're still developing. Um, like, unless we're in an AMA, basically, you can you can assume that we're building. Um, and then even when we're in an AMA, I'm usually not the main guy building. So... Um, that also doesn't really take away from it. So we can hang out as much as we want. Um, but yeah, so as far as alleviating the sort of um, inflationary pressure that's on Colony right now, we've got a, a couple of small steps we'll take. Um, some bigger steps would be including sort of different ways for um, increasing buy pressure from the Harmony side of things. Um, like Father may have mentioned earlier, we are actually for the Polygon Mint and for future colonies. Um, slowing the the colony generation scale so that because because harmony essentially generates enough uh colony to have kickstarted like the whole colony framework um, we don't need as much colony out there in circulation for like gameplay um especially if there's ways to sort of cross like like tap into the to the harmony supply and so we can use those future chains to ensure that we have colony more long term um so basically where you have uh for example, the 144.8 million colony total supply um, has the potential to be minted out in like two years if everybody's you know upgrading, for example. Um, on Polygon and on future chains, we can delay that by 10 times so that you know landowners on Polygon are minting consistently for the next 20 years. Um, and that way the supply, but the, the supply for that colony will be the same as it is on this this colony. Um, and so that just, it creates a sort of like unique balance and we can use future colonies as well to adjust um, the overall minting speed by changing whatever the, the minting speed for the new colony will be. So if the next chain we launch on, for example, is like Solana or Avalanche, um, we could take a look at where we're at in the, in the like minting schedule and see how market factors are playing. Obviously things will be much different by then because we'll have... Um, like a lot of in-game burn mechanisms. So we'll know, you know, do we need uh, a good deal more colony right away? Or do we need something more, um, you know, long-term? Or do we need something that tapers off and like starts slow and gets faster? Like there's there's any number of different combinations we can create uh, with each new colony that gets added, like essentially to the tokenomic. So, um, and then obviously as the there are more colonies, the, the less and like a less of an effect another colony will have. So if we have, you know, five uh, colonies on chains, adding the sixth one, um, relative effect doesn't really do much. Um, it allows us to just more fine tune. So um, that's, a, that's a cool thing to look forward to is like the sort of stability of the colonies. Um, right now we're definitely in a phase of, of um, like extreme turbulence, given that we have low utility and a bear market and high printing. Um, these are kind of like the, perfect storm measures that individually all serve a very good purpose uh, together don't feel very nice in the short term. So um, that's just kind of, so you can get like a peek into our brain with the um, tokenomic for each thing. Now, Father also suggested that it is possible to change the harmony minting speed if that's something that you guys want as a short term solution. Um, so for, I think it's, I personally, I think it's a bit drastic, but it is doable and it's, uh, it's worth having a discussion about, I suppose. Um, but don't, you know, don't react necessarily to that as a, like, it's going to happen. That would take a very, very high um, and very carefully planned out voting uh, threshold. So that, like, the pass rate would not be a simple majority. 
Um, I think we would need at minimum, I mean, we'd have to discuss it, but at minimum, like an 80% or greater um, approval rating on that one. But um, that would be a, p- a potential solution in the short term as we continue building burn mechanisms if it's something you guys are interested in. And that's kind of what that comment was about. But don't stress, don't think that that's like um, something that needs to happen or something that will happen even though you're against it. Um, it's more of sort of an offering um, like food for thought if, if that's something you guys want to consider. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's a bit um, a bit overkill. Um, though I think it would greatly help in the short term, um, just given, I think the, the one reason I might be more open to it than I typically would, would be the bear market. Um, but again, I think that's a, that's a conversation everybody needs to have together, um, and can take its time, you know? So just a reminder, if you want to speak, hit that little hand raise button, but I'm going to open it up. Um, anybody on stage have anything to say? I have a follow-up question from last at AMA. Shoot, go ahead. Um, was there, I, I talked briefly after Eugene left um, about uh, potential for releasing the financials. Was there any discussions that took place between the, the upper team members to, to, to maybe move forward on that? Not yet, no. I haven't brought it to the rest of the team. Um, and that's just the... Yeah. A... Yeah, can you elaborate on this oh. a little bit quickly? Since we, I think I, I think I haven't had a chance to discuss this with the team. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't brought it up to the team quite yet. But try if you want to. If you want to, um, I like you have the floor now. I suppose you could ask the the team, and we could get this conversation rolling. So essentially, um, a lot of a lot of folks that I've been talking to one on one have. Their, their, their nerves aren't settled. Um, and I just wanted to kind of throw something out there as a possible solution to help maybe settle some nerves as to cre- uh, creating something maybe on a quarterly basis that talks to expenses, income, um, and so that people have some data, kind of like financial um, balance sheets or something that that doesn't have to be detailed like what you would have to submit to government entities, but maybe just kind of highlight where things stand in treasuries, where things, where the expenses are going in categories um, and where the income is coming from to kind of just help settle the nerves that, Hey, this, there is money available. It looks like we've got um, cash to, to build for the next 10 years because we have a treasury that is six million dollars something um and if we had 20 employees yada 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 just something to kind of financials to help settle the nerves of the community the investors to to just kind of provide some something to look at beyond just going and looking at treasury uh treasury accounts um that was the idea mm-hmm. uh, i think i think last time uh, thanks for the thanks for the suggestion actually last time last ama there, there were questions actually related to the runway the plans and i had a chance to kind of cl- like answer some of them uh so from my standpoint again we haven't discussed this internally so maybe we'll just have a have some another thought from our team members but from my side it, it sounds okay i think it's something that uh, totally makes sense to provide and uh, we just need to figure out the, the right format uh, you know and uh, yeah it kind of like makes sense because we also can get some feedback from from uh, from community from investors as to you know what are what are like the things that you, you see from your side that are you know good that are not very good stuff like that so I personally like this idea but maybe any anyone from our team members want to answer this from their side perspective like maybe uh, Jews or other. Yeah, I mean, I think I can also defer to Father, but I think it's a good idea as well. Um, we have a little bit of a framework started for like just a general explanation of the main pillars of like funding management um, in the project. 
uh, in the colony at a glance post. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's like a little collapsible section because they're, they're longer explanations um, that you can expand that one is talks about like team and funding. Um, so that's a good, that's definitely a good place to start. But I think by now, hopefully most people have seen it um, just to get a feel for like where the main sort of sources of funding lie. Um, but then, yeah, I think it would be cool to, to release like a report. Um, the Basically the answer I gave um, in the last AMA in case anybody missed it um, of where we're at now is uh, essentially we just don't have like um, the, what do, what do we call that? Like we have, we have documentation. Um, let, let me maybe add a couple of words. I mean, I was like thinking about this as well. So <clears throat> oh, yeah. uh, for, uh, for me, it's quite clear. I mean, uh, if we like, um, uh, talking about the kind of big vision, uh, big pictures for everybody to understand what we are trying to build. Um, so f first of all, um, as we, I mean, as it's like published everywhere, uh, the treasury funds uh, should be managed by community. Community should decide how to reinvest this money uh, to make the colony more sustainable, uh, like economically developed and, and so on and so on. And we also like um, like launching different colonies, so on different blockchain, which will uh, allow uh, the core team to make a kind of uh, like revenue stream into the company account to uh, like have sustainable funding for the long term. And it's also for us kind of uh, like obvious if we have, uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess you can like think about this if we have only like one harmony treasury then it's like really heavy like pressure on that uh in terms of like building uh game in terms of building uh, dao governance um i mean to build like really cool game it requires like millions or like tens of millions of dollars and it's like it's super heavy uh pressure on like one community this why we're going multi-chain and this why we kind of like split this pressure between different colonies so the strategy is here when we have like several colonies, it will be easier for them to fund like uh, like really cool uh, game development. And then answering to your question, uh, of course, like all the treasury spending should be kind of transparent. Like otherwise, uh, like nobody will fund it. So, but it's not. I mean, on this on this stage, it's kind of it's not sustainable. I mean, liquidity is too low. <laughs> Uh, on Harmony, liquidity is too low, on Polygon, it's still not launched. So right now, everything is like super centralized, and uh, we just try to make it work how it should be. And in the moment we feel that it works, it will be just released and go in like super transparent way. Uh, when uh, yeah, each colony will be independent, transparent, and they will fund some. Uh, Four team initiatives like from, from the, the treasury. So, so AG is so real you, quick. Uh, sorry, man. My bad. Is this space uh, recorded and it's going to be shared uh, uh, later today? Because I'm going to ask a couple questions and then I leave because I got to go. Uh, I'm not currently recording it. I That's definitely a good idea. I should have. I, I may have woken up if you can't tell by my voice. Um, shortly before this call, it's quite early on the, on the east. I mean, on the west coast. Um, but actually, Pixie might be recording it. And if not, what I'll do is you can go ahead and you know ask questions, and then I'll I'll um, answer them in in writing later. Um, so I'll take those. I'll take some notes uh, while you ask your questions. If you've got if you've got more. Yeah, let me let me do it before. So the, the what's the price of the mint of the polygon, and then. Uh... You told me the last time there was a guide to to how to right when it comes to the the polygon mint, right? Oh yeah, both of those those are easy to answer. So the the whitelist mint is two hundred and ten matic, and then if you go to the forum, um, we can also link it in. I'll I'll announce it in the announcements channel. So when you come back, just go to the Discord announcements channel, and you'll see a link to the tutorial for how to um, bridge from Harmony to Polygon, and then how to like open up the whitelist um, when you're in the app uh which that that will go live on saturday so like the the subdomain for the for the whitelist mint uh will go live uh basically at the time of launch so beforehand there's nothing really to do other than make sure that you have the matic um but uh, i'll make sure that yeah. 
All right, sweet. Thank you so much, guys. I gotta run. Uh, you all have a great out there. And, uh, keep building. Thank you. Well, thanks. Thanks. And, thanks for joining way, us. Yeah. Sure. And by the way, uh, guys, if there's anything missing in the guide, you know, uh, just let us know. We'll try to like create something else because I was having some questions from members about where to swipe, like use DC for Matic and stuff like that. So um, anything that is missing, just let us know. We'll just create a guide for that. And attach it. Oh, and actually the good news is uh, Pixie is Pixie is recording it. So there's that as well uh, for everybody who wants to see it uploaded in the next like day or so. All right, try. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Sorry, just for just for clarification, um, what I'm kind of suggesting is like quarterly financials for the community to go and look at, maybe posted um, within the um, people dot Mars Colony dot IO uh, discussion area where they could just go and see the financials. Um, from a, from a big picture, right? From from a CFO perspective, um, and I think the I think that is kind of what I'm suggesting. Doesn't have to be to the detail that you would generate a report um, to give to the SEC, for example. Um, but just the, the the main based off of where funding is coming from, which chains, how much how much expense from each chain um, or each major project. Um, just to kind of give the community something to look at outside of listening to recordings or uh, other social media type stuff that they could just go to and see the information and do their own analysis against what they see. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, sounds like uh, thanks. Thanks for feedback again. Uh, that sounds like the typical report that I, would, I was kind of submitting when I had my own startup to investors, but like more on a monthly basis. So I kind of get what you mean, and uh, I think it kind of makes, makes sense. So let us think about how we can you know, present something like that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna definitely get back to you on this. I guess to the whole community, there's also questions on that too in the chat. Yeah, um, so in the AMA dash chat channel, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's, let's see, uh, Raymond Must Die says, Juice, did you say good morning, sir? I, you know, I didn't, and I apologize. Good morning, everybody. Um, Sparky says, what will be the process of minting? Will it be the same uh, as original on Harmony Mint, where we can click plots, etc.? Yep, yep, it will be exactly the same. Uh, we just, uh, what we'll just do, we'll also... For convenience sake, we also add a cart, uh, and we also allow people to, let's say, if you want to buy a couple of plots together, um, you'll be able to select and block your items before you uh, to mint, so that uh, kind of to address this issue, for example, when you want to mint together a few items, a few land plots, and they are not available, for example, or someone minted. So those kind of things going to be, um, but aside from that, like, pretty much the same. So I do have a follow-up. Go ahead, Troy, go ahead. So just future consideration for any mints in the future, particularly when we talk about whitelisting, is is there a way that instead of just putting a list of wallet addresses into into a, a group, um, maybe allow for signups for a reservation of maybe a single plot uh, per existing wallet. And at time of launch, if, if they go and they launch it and they have like two or three days to, to get, that, get that reservation and limiting it really to just one to start with for address, um, who reserves the right to do that or asks for, to do so, and then opening it up after, after X number of days. Um, just kind of make it fair across the board for those that don't have the time to sit and wait or have to take time off to do a mint or something. Give people some time to kind of reserve their spot, so to speak. Yeah, that could be actually possible. Like from my side, the only, the only like not concern here, but that uh, in our case, you can select the land on, your, on the globe. So you're, with that case, you won't be able to, let's say, 
you, like when you come back, you might not find the land that you like. Yeah, so that's kind of like the um, one of the drawbacks of this. But in any case, that sounds like uh, yeah, that sounds like an interesting option too. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. Like to, similar to how we did like a staged launch with the avatars. I mean, the, with the polygon launch, it's a little bit um, of like a similar process in the sense that there are um, if you can if you let's say you're not whitelisted for the harmony um whitelist you can apply for the um the guild whitelist like we're opening that up um in case anybody like misses the harmony launch for example or if um you know i've been talking to other harmony projects um and they've been wondering like how can they get their users involved and so we created a sort of like application um for the second stage of the whitelist um and so that will open up like when you go to app.marscolony.io once the mint is live It'll let you know if you're whitelisted, and then it'll take you to the Polygon minting interface. Um, and if you're not whitelisted, it'll it'll ask you to apply if you'd like to. Um, so, um, and then obviously the public launch will be open to everybody regardless. Um, and so there are there's still like multiple opportunities. Um, I think the biggest thing is like uh, in the future we we can definitely implement like for the next for the third chain, um, which you know granted will be quite a while, but. Um, we can implement that definitely try and then for this time um it might have just been good to like reassure everybody that like there are multiple stages so you will have a chance like uh you know no don't don't like stress out too much about it um uh, the price will, don't, yeah don't get me wrong i i understand it's too late for this for this mint um i i was just making that recommendation for future mints um even if it's the avatars on on the on the polygon chain for example um just giving opportunity to those who have something to reserve at least one and it and like eugene said it doesn't really matter what what the what it is um clicking on the map or something just having that reservation and locking out that one um nft for that wallet address um is is what i'm suggesting so that and if they don't claim it they don't claim it right that's just that's on that individual who has owns that wallet that they just lost that opportunity and they just open up to the to the public after or they reopen it up to the next the next person in the wait list yeah no i think it's a great idea yeah uh, totally, totally like, for like our yes a lot of our team, like some of our team members couldn't even buy it it got sold so fast so yeah, that's something that is uh, we should definitely put into consideration for the next launches. Thank you. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy time. I remember um, getting messages like, "Hey, are they already gone?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm sorry." <laughs> People were just too excited. It worked out well. Um, just I got zero on the first round. Really? Oh man. Yeah, that that like when everybody got on the site for that first round right away, it was like four in the morning for me too. And I'm looking and I'm like clicking mint and it's just not loading because there's so much site traffic. Um, it was a it was a it was a cool moment as a team member, um, but definitely like uh, a validating reason for why we broke it into three separate stages. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll definitely. Um, I think that's a great idea for land plots and definitely for avatars um, going forward. Um, there's a question in the AMA chat asking about what the quote, like loads of, uh, pending announcements are. So I can speak to that. Um, basically I've, I've been like sitting on announcements, just kind of waiting for the mint to start because there's certain things we can't show you guys until, um, the mint starts. Now, to be fair, I did show you guys, um, a couple in the last weekly update and I have mentioned some things before. Um, just because I like, you know, it, I think we can afford to, to tease some things and try to raise some spirits in a, in a market like this. It's a, it's a rough time for everybody. And so, um, especially when the core focus of like this community is like, what are we building? Like, where are we going? Are we going to, um, be all right? Like, I think I kind of made the decision that, that we could start sharing some of that stuff. Um, there is one, um, video we're waiting on that will have to wait for the mint. Um, but then generally, uh, like the we? main, should we actually? You um, wanna you wanna do it early? I mean, we can. Considering you know, yes, because people are waiting. I think it'd be good to kind of show 
do the video. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So we can, yeah, we'll publish that a little early. So we'll, we'll just get started. You know, um, I feel like we got to do what we can to, to, to make it up to you guys for like such a turbulent sort of time. Um, yeah. So, okay. So then I can explain just generally a couple of things real quick and then uh, you guys will just have to wait and see basically. Um, so yeah, we got a video coming and if you pay attention, close attention, um, like at first, a portion uh, may seem like not much. And if you really pay attention, you might actually notice that there is something kind of big in there. Um, and then we'll, maybe we'll publish that today. Uh, so you guys can get, get to get to searching. Um, and then I've mentioned the different like avatar traits and, and skills, um, the stats and skills, excuse me. Um, so we've got a dashboard working for that. And, and there's just a, a, a bit more things before that gets implemented. Um, but so we've got, you know, announcements that'll come for that. Um, I did mention earlier in this chat, I think for the first time we got the beta tester program. So what we're doing is we're launching a, a program for anybody that wants to join Harmony or otherwise um, who wants to become essentially like an MC beta tester for for a time and start testing like the, the Polygon dashboard, testing um, any new sort of um, modules that come out. Like, uh, and, and what essentially that grants um, for anyone that's not already on the whitelist, they'll get whitelisted for the public um, or for the, for the, for the guild whitelist. Um, but then also there will be a, a certain percentage of those beta testers who get um, avatars in the future. And we can do like special merch type drops or not like merch merch, but you know what I mean? Like special drops in the future. So um, there's like a, like a, a new kind of program launching. Um, and then um, which I, I know this is all kind of rapid fire. So I'm just trying to unload on you guys, but you'll see it more clearly as like, we actually start announcing these things. Um, and then of course we'll, you know, in, in due time, we'll have the, the Dex announcement, um, and, um, some of the like guild partnerships. Um, so there's some stuff on the biz dev side that we'll be announcing as far as like the, the, after the pre-sale mint, um, sort of where we stand in the Polygon ecosystem and, and how that ties to Harmony. Um, I made a, a comment earlier, Sparky was asking me about um, the cryo chamber tweet. Um, I don't want to get too much into that just because it's still pretty conceptual, but um, it, that I'll just say that tweet may have been more than just a joke, uh, even though I personally think it was funny. Uh, even if no one else does, you'll still find some value out of it in the future. Um, Anyway, I, th I think I'll, I'm done being vague and esoteric. Um, it's still quite early, so I apologize if I'm even more rambly than I typically am. But um, yeah, like so I guess all that to say, like there are multiple things that are coming. It's just that we've been kind of waiting um, for the Mint uh, to be able to share some stuff with you guys and, and the days coming after the Mint. So um, just keep your, keep your eyes peeled. Um, oh, yeah, and then... My <laughs> In the AMA chat, Mark says, you guys are going to shit yourself when you realize that we posted the video already by mistake. It wasn't by mistake. I scheduled it intentionally for this morning, went to bed three hours ago, and then woke up to find out um, that we should not post it because we're changing the mint. So it wasn't by mistake. It was just that it had to be changed. And that's okay. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was public for like a, a, a good chunk of time. You guys, if you would have seen the, the Mars Colony YouTube, you would have already seen the video. Um, so yeah, subscribe to our YouTube, I suppose, is, is the main call to action there. Um, and then we'll post that, yeah, later today. So any other comments, concerns, questions, criticisms? I do, I, we're going to have to call it. I know I've been taking up a lot of time, but in about 10 minutes, because then I have to um, go get teeth pulled at the dentist. So this was already planning to be a fantastic day for me. Um, Jandy says in the AMA chat, why can't our plots not mint one Bitcoin per day? Uh, can devs do something about that? Eugene, do you want to address that one? Um, can I we make know, plots? Bitcoin, maybe Luna? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's too soon. That's too soon. Everybody's still hurting. Uh, <laughs> rip in peace, Doquan. Um, we won't forget you, unfortunately. But yeah, any other questions, comments, concerns? Um, we are here. And, and also, um, if you guys have anything after this chat, like just at, you know, tag us. Um, we'll be around. Um, I'll be driving for the next, you know, 30 minutes and then getting teeth pulled. But after that, I will be back today. So uh, I may not want to talk necessarily, but I can type. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, definitely have some more good uh, conversations. But I'm going to give like 30 seconds for anybody to request to speak. And then if nothing, uh, then we'll call it. But 
I'll fill that 30 seconds so it's not awkward with me talking, um, which I'll just say thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, I appreciate all of the encouragement that a lot of you guys have given over the past like weeks. So you guys have been fantastic. Definitely like, again, one of the things that really validated the harmony choice to start. And then just the way that we've, I think evolved together has been, has been wonderful. So thanks for being you guys. Um, Sparky, I answered your questions. I, Oh wait, no, I guess I missed that one. I apologize. Uh, if we already leveled up some avatars, will we get tokens to increase our avatar stats for those levels or will the stats already be increased? Um, that's an, that's actually an interesting, uh, question implementationally, Eugene. So when we implement, um, stats, how are those going to be, how are those going to take into account like uh, leveling at first? Is that something that comes later? Or is that something that, that starts right away? That's a good question, actually. Yeah, so stats will, um, so definitely your, your levels will, will impact your earnings uh, and what is going to be, once we, once we implement the earnings, uh, what is going to be like compensated? Um, that's something like, that's a good question, actually, uh, because um, I'm not sure if it's like technically feasible, but definitely like, you know, the leveling will affect uh, your, your, earn, like, your earnings or like likelihood of getting, like, for example, even NFT, for example, rewards. So uh, that will definitely affect it. But um, yeah, and we'll we'll try to also roll it out as soon, soon as possible to kind of, uh, since a lot of you guys are playing upgrading, so we don't want you just to uh, have it uh, without any kind of like rewards on top of that. So yeah, basically the best way to conceptualize the stats is like, so you've seen buffs and debuffs and then stats. Essentially what that does is that influences your, your pass fail and your reward, your reward rate. Um, and so when he's talking about like um, earnings rate and things like that retroactively, the reason the mechanism is tricky is because like it depends on how much you've played and like what the statistical probability would be. Um, but we can definitely, like as far as stats themselves upgrading, like, yeah, that's definitely uh, doable Sparky. So um cool all right uh yeah so it's not it's not like a points allocation thing or anything uh servicious. it's like it's just it's the um i mean it is points but you're not allocating them like in skyrim for example where you're choosing trades to upgrade uh right now it's like they kind of it's like in pokemon where the stats will raise with your levels so um and then the buffs and debuffs are constant those aren't really something that change it just depends on your profession um and like the the orientation of your avatar um but yeah, okay, anything else from the team before we wrap this call up? All right, I mean, good, good talk. Yeah, from, yeah, oh, yeah. from my side, all good. I'm just hoping we can deploy this video to kind of show to the whole community uh, what we wanted to achieve today. Yeah. Thanks for everyone to join today. Uh, thanks for questions and suggestions as well. I really appreciate yeah. that. All right, guys, thanks so much. Um, and yeah, pay close attention to anything we put out, uh, especially videos, because that uh, we'll have a few more clues and Easter eggs than you might think. But try, I see you've unmuted. Did you have something to say? No, okay, cool. Well, thanks so much for joining us, guys. We will see you in a bit. Um, again, if you need anything, just tag us. We're around. Um, and yeah, we'll see you Saturday for, uh, for that mint. Bye, guys.